We've made multiple cocoa bean farms in the past, but this one may be the most efficient and cheapest. What's up my gamers? Today I'm going to teach you how to make the semi-automatic cocoa bean farm. If you want to check out our other cocoa bean farms, the links will be in the description below. Let's get started. I'm going to go over here and show us the materials. You're going to want jungle log, hardstone dust, a lever, a block of your choice, I chose cobblestone, a dispenser, a water bucket, and then some cocoa beans. So you place all the cocoa beans up on the log all around here. Then if I fly up here, you can see here's a dispenser. Inside the dispenser there's water. If I go down here and I flip the switch, the water will fall down, break all the cocoa beans and the cocoa beans will rush out. If you flip it again, the water will go away. Then what you do, so you go in here and collect all the cocoa beans. As you can see, I went from 37 to 64 and 13. Then when you're ready again, you just place all the cocoa beans on here and repeat the process. Now onto building. This may be a bit complex to build, but in the end, this farm will be very simple and efficient for you. So what you're gonna wanna start doing is build like a staircase like so. So one, two, three, four, six, build it like that and build up again right here. Then what you're going to want to do is have a marker where you're going to want to place the tree itself. So I'm going to build up four logs. So one, two, three, four. It matches that one over there. Then you're going to want to build around the tree like this. Place one block here, then place one like in the corner of the tree, like so. Place one here, place one there. Basically, what you're trying to do is trying to make all the sides of the tree right here be open. If you want, you can delete the extra block right here like I just did. But once you finish that, it should look about like this. As you can see, when I go over here, you can see the similar design, all the blocks around and the opening where the seeds will go. Now, so the water doesn't fall out, you're gonna wanna build up on these blocks. Like so. As you can see, I have these filled up right here. And then what you're going to want to do is build up three blocks. One, two, three. Break these two, crouch down, make sure the dispenser is pointed down. It may be a bit difficult to set in survival, but just make sure you're lower and then place it. Once you're finished with that, click on your dispenser, place your water bucket inside. And then we're gonna start the redstone process. So I'm gonna come over here to kind of give you a better visual. You're gonna to wanna to place a stone block equal to the dispenser, so like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to start up here, place redstone there and here. Then you're gonna to wanna to build a connector piece so it can go down. So I'll build an extra block right here. Place it, connect it then lead it all the way down the staircase you made to wherever you want the lever at. I'll just place it right here. Then once you're finished with that part, we're gonna have to dig the hole. Only reason why I want you guys to dig the hole is so that all the seeds will stay in a certain area and the water doesn't keep rushing out all the way over there. So I'll go over here and show you the dimensions of the hole. It is one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. So dig a five by five hole. So one, two, three, four, five, then one, two, three, four, five. Then just finish by clearing out the center. If you want, you can make the hole bigger, but it doesn't really matter. 
If I were you, I would try and get this as center as possible. I kind of messed up on the center, so I'm going to make this side just a little bit bigger. It doesn't hurt, though, where it is. You just want the water to not go too far out. But now it should be done. You're just going to need to place your cocoa beans. And then you go over to your lever, activate it. As you can see, the water pushes them all out. Flip it again to make the water go away. I'll show you how much I have right now. I have 13 in this stack, but now I'm going to walk through it. And it looks like I collected 29. And then when you're ready, you can plant them all again. That is all for my semi-automatic cocoa bean farm. Recommend doing this if you want a ton of cocoa beans for food or for dyes. I think it's very simple and easy to do once you figure out how to build it. And you can make multiple of them at once all right next to each other to get the most value out of it. I also think this is a creative design because I've never seen a design like this before. So you could build this in one of your worlds and show off your unique and creative farm you have. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching and remember to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. We'll see you next time.